Hi everybody, my name is Runo Baje. Welcome to another tutorial. Welcome to our channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a, a panel dress of a um, six pieces dress, popularly known as six pieces dress in Nigeria here. So without any waist joining. So it comes from the armhole, from the armhole down to the um to the hem of your dress. There's no joining at all. So now this is my body's I want to use this as my full bodies now. This, this is the shoulder and this is the hem. This is the length of the dress. That from here to here is the length of my dress. Now this is my hip line, waist line, and bust line. Now what I will do is just to connect. When when you draft your body, just impute the the normal the necessary that that's one inch or one point five inch for your waist, and then connect from here to the armhole. You connect from here to the armhole. And then just extend it one inch more so you don't have shortage when joining then you just connect back to the bust line so this is it just create another dart here if you want to make it bust here so this is it so when you want to cut now I'll cut this out like this cut it and before that i'll connect this to the hemline I'll connect this to the hemline so this is the hemline so now you can see the straight line from here like this to this point now if you want to do it bustier princess that bustier just mark from your shoulder to your bust point so let me assume this is my bust point six and then my under bust is eight so I just connect like this and connect like this okay so now what you do is from this point midpoint here you can come in one inch now depending on your size i'm trying to make this tutorial very very short so that's why so you just connect and then this sorry this is your boss point this is your boss point mark your boss palm here that's four remember these are boss point nine boss point these are boss point nine so you just mark four so it's from here now i'll be connecting to this part from here i'll connect like this can you see and then bring it down to the hemline can you see this 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 um this one is is for a, a bustier or if you are doing a bustier but if you are not doing it bustier just cut you just use your normal waist that and then connect like i did first just connect it to the armhole you can connect to the shoulder you can connect to the neckline it doesn't matter where you connect it we just need an end point where the where the, this thing will connect and then have a straight line down that's just the important thing and then i'll come to this place here i marked from this midpoint here one inch then i can mark here half inch or i can do one as well but let me do it half this half inch and then connect from the bust point connect from the bust point and then straight down and you see so this is how it goes like this and like this and then here yeah, so this is how we'll cut now we'll cut from here like this and then down and then like this so this that will go out then please add your seam allowance make sure you when adding your seam allowance make sure you you put this into consideration add this first this part that we are cutting out please put it back put it back then add your normal seam allowance now I'm, I'm going to use this now to cut the back this is the back this is the zip allowance and then this is the body this is the that now we just i'm also going to make the back princess and um, princess cut so I'll just connect from this um, the end of this dart here to my armhole. So when you are connecting 
um, the, the when you are connecting it at the back, just be careful so you don't have points. The back does not have points, so you don't have any business having a point at the back. So I will just see here to here one inch and then connect and then connect back to my arm hole. So this is it. So I will cut like this from here, like this down. And then so we'll have to now I'll be doing a tutorial on how to cut your princess that was here. So you just stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, like our page so you don't miss out when I do it. This is my back and this is my front. Can you see? Back and front. Now this is your front and this is the side front. Now what I did here is I, I marked from my waist to the hem and I measured from this hem here 4 inch. You can choose to open with 5, 6, 7. Now I, I decided to use 4 inch because I don't want it too wide. I don't want it too wide and I am working with two yards of fabric so I have to manage it as much as I can. So I'm opening, I connected from here to this point. Now, not from the bust point, not from the hip. This is our hip, this is our waistline. Now, you know our dress will be fitted from the bust to the waistline, then from the waistline we have is we have it free to the hemline. And then you move to the side, this is side front. And then this is our waist. This is our waist and this is our waist. So I'll come here, I'll mark four inches well here. I'll mark four here. And then mark four here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Then you connect from the waist, please. From the waist, please. From the waist, please. I'm emphasizing from the waist. Don't make the mistake of opening from the, from the bust or from the hip line. So can you see? So this is my front. Remember our front is on fold. When, by the time you open, by the time you open it, you have, it will be one piece. But by, then this one is going to be like this. Now I'll do the one for the back and then show you how it looks like. So this is the back. From here to here, four inch, I connected from the waist to the hem. And then this is the side. Here, here to here, four, uh, four inches. Here to here, four inches. And then I connect, I connect. And then I came up here on the side one inch and then connect it back i need it curved i don't want it straight or pointing out so this is it please remember to add your seam allowance remember to add your seam allowance and there's no seam allowance on this now if you want to add seam allowance you you add you you add your seam allowance from here like this you add it down that's your joining allowance and then you come you do same for this Make sure this is not um, this part is not pointy. This is the back, please. It shouldn't be pointy. You don't have bust at the back, so so this is it. So you join like this, and then and then the front. You will do same to the front. Now this is the side front. Now for the side front, I came up as well, one inch. I came up one inch and I connected it down, down and um, back to the hemline. So I need it all curvy, not pointy. So this is it now. Let me show you how it is on the fabric. So I have pinned it to my fabric. As you can see, this is my center front. This is the center front on fold. Remember, I've added, I added the seam allowance on the paper. So this is it. And here it is. And why this is our side front. This is the side front. This is the hem part. And then, I've added the seam allowance. I do you read? I added two inches for the on the post. Why the waist? I did 1.5 and then the half inch seam allowance to join the side. I connected it down to the um, to the hemline. Why the the bust parts? I added seam allowance. So this is the part that will join this part. This is the part that will join this. So this is our seam is our half inch um, joining seam. Okay, so. What I'll do now is to cut what what I'll cut. So 
I have cut the back and this is the back seam allowance this is the zip allowance this is my um, uh, side seam joint so this is it and then this is the side this is the side back now what I did to the front now what I did to the front I'll do same to the back now this is our side back this is the part that will be on our side on your side so remember I came up here I came up one inch remember I came up one inch here just remember that curve what I did to the front so I'll just connect connect do now is to join so this is the center back center back side back and then this is the center front side front all seam allowances in place so now what i will do now is to go to my machine and sew now let me show you how to join how to do the joining so i'll just take off the pins i'll take off the pins and so this is my front now oh, this is my front so can you see so this is it so what I will do now is to get my side front see why it's good to label side front side side front so I'll take off the pins and then show you how to join it so one will be here one here and the other here can you see so i'll start from the hem and join i'll join turn this this way join And then same to the back, start from the hem and then join to the armhole. So this why for the back. Now this is our back. Take off the pin. Take out the pin that is short. Okay, now this is our back. Now, this is your place as zip. As zip. So, as zip will be here like this. join the side this is the side back and then this so you see so when you're joining you join this to this this to this and then our zip will be here now i'll go to my machine and scroll and show you the outcome now this is the front. I've joined it together. I joined the shoulders. What I'll do is just to use my saja, just um, finish it up, make it neat, and then you can see this is the front. One, two, three, and then this is the back. One, two, three, and then the zip at the middle. So I used and uh, the, the fabric as facing, and then this is the front i used it as facing i've gone ahead to fix my sleeve and then i attach my zipper and this is it just turn it so this is the back i did a bed hole here and on both sides 
So this is one, and this is the second one. And I made a bet of, I think, 1.5 for it. So this is it. 